Hello everyone, so today we're going to be talking about Black Tower and how to find a carry and how to bid for items. Okay, so now I'm here and I run up towards Black Tower. As you can see, I'm already in a party, but there's one thing that you need to notice over here is you see in the chat, it says Chen, Chen Ge Se. That's basically like asking, uh, who do I give the money to? And the raid leader or whoever is accepting the money will say me. And once they say that, then you just know who to give the gold to. Because, uh, you know, I've had a few viewers that uh, they come into the dungeon and they don't know who to give the gold to. And then that may result in you getting kicked out of the raid. Or if you give the gold to the wrong person, that would be very unfortunate and would cause some problems, obviously. So anyway, you just want to look here. And th this is Chen Gese. That basically means like who to give the money to. And then the raid leader or the person who wants to collect the gold will say wool, which is me. And let's fast forward as we wait. Okay, so we fast forward here. So now the raid leader has come to collect payment. He'll usually put like a heart on his head or a star or something. And now he'll trade you. You accept the trade and you give him 40 gold or how much, how much gold you guys originally agreed upon. Usually it's between 35 to 45 gold, depending on how well geared the carries are and how fast they do the dungeon. So 45 gold usually means, oh, they'll do the dungeon in under 20 minutes, which is very, very fast. And regularly, like for the 40 gold, usually they'll guarantee to finish the dungeon within 30 to 35 minutes. And then obviously 35 gold means that they'll take a lot longer and they'll take about... Hmm, 40-ish, 40 minutes, but it depends. Sometimes some parties are looking for 35 gold, others are charging 40 gold. The standard is 40, so just, you know, stick with that. Okay, so now we pay, give the gold to him, and then we just wait until they start the raid. So you can see over here that they're starting the, the first boss. They've only got three players, and they're gonna three-man it, basically. And we'll fast forward to when the boss dies. So the boss has died and we're running here and now the, the party leader will link the items. As you can see here, he's linked one item over here which is the earth necklace but the earth necklace is it for me since I'm a wind summoner. I'm a wind spec summoner, not a earth spec. So I don't bid on this item. And the other item is a frost uh, necklace. So I don't need either items so I don't bid for them. But as you can see here in the red text underneath, he says like, oh, the items start at five gold and they go up by increments of five. So if anyone wants to bid on it, you would link the item that you want. For example, if you wanted the, uh, if you wanted this frost necklace, in order to link it, you'd press enter, you click on the dotted line or the three dots and then the most bottom option would be linked to chat. So you'd link that to chat and then type five and then G for gold and then be enter. And then you'd look into the chat over here at the bottom left corner and see if anyone bids more than that. If they bid 10 gold, then you'd bid 15 and they'll bid 20 and 25. I don't recommend bidding over 25 gold for any of these items. Like Black Tower items are, they're good, but most of them aren't really worth over 25 gold unless you really, really need it and that you have the gold to spare. Um, the prices on the Chinese server are very different compared to the US server. So, you know, on the US server, if a black tower accessory drops, there are thousands of gold. But on the Chinese server, no, they're 25 gold. And gold is much harder to farm on the Chinese server anyway. So we go through here, and since I don't need any of these items, I don't, I don't mind and I just move on. Okay, so this is the second boss now. Second boss, again, they're three manning it, so we can just chill here, and we just wait at the entrance over here. And then you just wait until they kill the boss, and then you can run across. So let's fast forward to when the boss dies. So the boss has died here now, and we're moving on. And he'll link the items again, right there. So first item is, again, a earth earring. So no one, I don't know who bids for that, and a frost ring, what are the chances? So we got the Earth and Frost twice in a row, basically. So yeah, uh, again, if you want to bid it, you click on the dotted thing and then link to chat and five gold and see if anyone bids against you. 
Anyway, let's move on. Oh, and also this uh, eyepiece thing also drops, so I'll let you see how it looks. Uh, it looks like that. So for the third part of the map, or the third boss, it's best to just, uh, once you come through the entrance, just run up a little bit and just chill at the, at the intersection. And just wait here until they get all the way to the boss room. And then when they, when they get to the boss room, the middle teleport here will be activated and you can teleport all the way there instantly, or to the sides instantly, I think. So just wait for that to happen, and if you want, you can go and actually see them fight by teleporting up there. So let's fast forward there. So you can see here that I'm going to go to the portal on the left side. You come here and you fly up, and then you can see that I'm on the top left side here, and you just run across, and then you're in the in the third boss room. So make sure you don't chill up here because it messes them up. So you actually want to jump down and if you're if you're just here to watch or you're getting carried, you want to stand in the middle of the map. So you see where the square is, you want to stand right here and just like not move. So just chill here and then you can watch them do all the fighting. So there was a failed attempt but you could see over here that the Kung Fu Master himself did 128 million damage just using his regular attack and was dealing 866,000 damage per second. So you can see that that is pretty insane. It's pretty insane damage. The Kung Fu Master himself was a Hong Moon 20 and I'm going to fast forward to see our successful run and let you see how he does it from the beginning. So now they've started again and you can see again the Kung Fu Master over there is fighting by himself on this side. So that's this HP bar and the two summoners on the other side and that's that their HP bar. So all they're doing is just DPSing. There's no real mechanic here since they nerfed uh, Black Tower or I think you guys are getting the nerf soon on the US server. So all you have to do is keep attacking basically and just jump over these laser beams so that they don't stun you like that and yeah you should be fine just DPS and jump and just stay within that box and that's it really anyway I'll let you guys watch and I'll fast forward it and there you go they killed it and I give them a round of applause and we finished that mission. So let's see the items that dropped. So only a only a shadow necklace dropped. And that was the only item that dropped from that boss. All the other items were not accessories. Okay. So now we move on and we go to the Raven King. So once you come through the Raven King into this place, you don't want to take that dragon portal. You just want to chill on top of the ledge and watch them do the fight and not go into the dragon portal. I'm just looking at the sky because I think this was like the second time of doing this dungeon, so everything looked really new. So anyway, the Raven King is over there. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, six CC bars, and you just chill here. Okay, so now they started the fight, and you can see them from a distance that they're pew pewing over there and doing some stuff. And you know, so Raven King will do his like eight pizza slice thing or seven pizza slice attack and stuff and we can just watch them from the safety above here and now he's almost dead 5 million hp 3 million hp and he's dead great so once he's dead the dragon portal opens up you can check his dps over here the kung fu master did 580,000 damage per second he dealt a total of one 146 million damage to in total so that's like a big chunk of the boss's health actually and it took him five minutes to do that much damage it's pretty amazing anyway so now we go through the dragon portal and we jump down so once we're down here there are loot boxes here so these loot boxes actually might cost a little bit more so you can see here that he's selling it as a bundle he's selling like the boxes all together for 10 gold instead of selling each individual one for five gold he's selling it as like a bundle this really depends on uh raid leaders depends on if the raid leader is a nice guy or if he's greedy or if he's really yeah just whatever it really depends on his mood but you know 
the standard, the gold standard here is five gold per box. And then sometimes they'll bundle it together and say, oh, you got to buy both boxes together or whatever. And in your quest, you get 23.88 gold. And like totally with all the all the items that you get, you can see like the Raven's Veracity, you get Raven Feathers, and you get like the quest rewards. Like even though you paid 40 gold, if you sold all the items that you got uh, directly to the marketplace, even if you undercut everyone on the market, you make like 45 gold. So it's not like you're losing money, you kind of make money. But like for me, I need the Raven Feathers and I need the Raven King's Veracity. So I save these items and I use, I come, I come to the Black Tower on all three of my characters. On my Blade Master, on my Summoner, and on my Gunner. And then I transfer all of these items to my Gunner since she's the most geared at the moment. Well, okay. And that's about it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye What can I say except you're welcome? Hello everyone, so today we're going to be talking about uh, Black Tower. So what? Oh. Oh. I'm in the picture. God dang it. Alright, starting back from the top.